Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 12.54, Saturday, February the 3rd. It is account takeover time. We are back on my friend Sam's account. We just knocked out Gear Raid 2, 20, and 21. I will link to that in the pinned comment below if you're interested. But now it's time to do Gear Raid 3. So he's had 19 unlocked for quite a while. Whoops, so we don't want to do faction trials. Actually, does he need to do that? 27. Heck yeah, he does. I might do that for him while I'm here. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Gear Raid 3. 19 for quite a while. Has gotten a bunch of great DPS gear. The difference between 19, 20, and 21. 19 is the big one. Once you unlock that, um, it, it opens an entirely different world of gear in your characters, all right? Um, so 20 and 21, there's an increased chance to get the, the Ascension materials. You get more of them. And there's like an extra tenth of a percent chance to get an Ancient. It's not huge. So uh, 19 is the big one. You can gear your account really, really, really well once you clear 19. If you're struggling, let me know in the comments, in the Discord, wherever you want. I'd love to help you out. Um, I do takeovers like this. I do give away free ones all the time. I do paid ones if you'd rather go the easy route. But uh, I love to help people. If you don't want to pay, right? If you don't want to take over, just ask a question in the Discord. I'll help you that way too. For 21, let's see. Must not have an Aracha because uh, Lunaria is there. Yep, okay. So we have Lunaria, we have Eadril. Allure will be great for the right side. Let's see who we have for Piercers. Okay. Nyx will be great for the left side. I need, I'm going to need Cetrum for the boss since we don't have Silas. <clears throat> Probably Boreas is there. Could use him. He's really strong. I'm going to do, let's, we've got Hollow and Elowin. I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do, let's do this. Let's. Let's do Nyx for the left side. And let's get Laurel. Yeah, let's get rid of Hollow. And add in Volca. Hex. I may or may not use him. We'll see. Um, I might just pull him out and put Hollow in and just get tons of rage. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's go back to Hollow. It's always fun. I really enjoy doing these because you get to... Oops, I don't want a mage. You get to kind of play around uh, with, you know, your first thought at what will, what the most likely thing is to succeed. And then if it doesn't, you, you get a tweak, you get a play, you get a problem solve. It's a ton of fun. So my main, my main DPS for this, I need um, Eadril for worldwide damage. I need Allura for the right side. I need Nyx for the left side. And I'm going to use a combination of Cetrum and Eadril for the middle to take out the boss. I'm going to assume that I'm, I can get them strong enough that I won't need a tank. So let's start gearing them. I'm going to gear the heck out of Eadril first. So I'm going to, what's she at? Ten, yeah, let's, let's, let's swap her with someone who has Infernal. There we go. That gets uh, just over 10k. I might need to swap one of those. There's someone else with a full Infernal set. I'm going to swap you. And then is there a crit damage one here? There we go, two crit damage. I'm going to see if there's another one that has attack. I want to get her attack higher. Attack. Infernal Roar. There we go. So we have one here. Crit damage, crit rate. It's not bad. And then, oh, man, a bunch of ones here. So let's take crit damage, crit rate, attack speed. Crit damage, crit rate, attack speed, and flat attack. That's the one I want. Sorry, comment. You're going to lose this for a minute. 12k attack. 
There we go. That's way better. Neutral's gaze, not quite maxed, but that will be plenty good enough. Okay. Um, next main damage I'm going to want is uh, Setrum because I need I need that boss gone. I need those little exploding minions gone so they don't run into Edril. So let's check out him. Okay. 15, crit capped. Here we go. Yeah. Got another messenger. I think I just want a longer ult for, for gear rate three. Yeah. <clears throat> for gear rate three. Yeah. Okay. That was a good build. I'm not even going to play with it. I think that'll be plenty good. Uh, right side, I need Alora to be relatively strong. Let's see here. Crit capped, 10k. Let's get this one. Let's get a full soulbound set. We'll take Boreas's off. But I want that to be attack because her attack's pretty low. Uh, that sucks. Is there a different attack one? Oh. Oh, she's got a crit right now. It's not maxed. That's why it's low. It's a crit right there. Yeah. Is she A1? If she's A1, that means she gets extra crit damage from the... Yeah, she's A2. Okay, so she gets extra crit damage from being crit capped. But let's do a, a, a traditional build. Come on. Gear. Crit rate. Attack bonus. I need crit rate sub. I might just swap Boreas's set, actually. That way I don't mess with his gear too much. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And then Nyx on the left side. What happens here? I bet that will be good enough. And then... For Dolores, I just put the Tumultuous Horn on her for Gear 2. But I definitely want Keen Wisdom for this. I want the extra attack. Place. All right, biggest thing on Gear 3. <laughs> Man, I'm so sorry. I'm going to take a drink of water. Um, understanding how the waves work. Start out with four in the middle. Boss shows up. One comes from the right. You've got the left side. You've got the right side. Right side, you've got a combination of a single monster and uh, waves in the top right. And the boss targets whoever you placed last. Like those are the big things to, to, to consider. On the right side, it's easiest if you have Alora or Hatsit because of their invisibility. It makes life way easier. But if you don't, it can, can still obviously be done. You just have to be more cognizant of like timing of your ults. You ha need to um, usually take out this guy that comes from the right, take him out with Neutral. So you'll need to be able to time her ults so that she'll actually target it. We're going to get... Hollow down for some extra rage. Um, yeah. Target for the boss. We'll speed it up a little bit. I'm pretty confident in this. I want Nyx on the left side. Right after I get some extra rage for everyone. Pop those off. One. Two, Nyx on the left side. Yeah, I probably should have waited to place her because of for that attack. Do I have time to get? Nope. Oh, I needed to wait for that attack. Okay. So understanding the timings, right? Because the boss attacks the last person that you place, waiting to place someone until the boss attacks. Sometimes the best thing to do. We'll pick it up. We'll get to that spot.
There we go. Etc. Laurel for extra rage. Hollow for extra rage. Now we wait for the boss to attack to place Nyx. There we go. Get her down. Bolt. I need to get that <clears throat> monster on the right side. Excuse me. My throat is dry for some reason. Elwyn down for extra rage. Everyone ult. Get Laura down. Oh, uh, Nyx wasn't strong enough for that left side. And it looks like Laura's not strong enough for the right side. Okay, that's fine. I think that's just a timing issue. So let's get Edril down. This is what I'll do differently this time. You'll see. I need more time to build Nyx's ult. So we're going to do Edril right off the bat here. Setrum off the bat. Here we go, boss attacked, place Nyx. Extra rage from Elowen. Alt with Nyx. Need to ult with Edril. Oh, Cetrum's dead. Okay, so I need to ult earlier with Edril so that that doesn't happen. Yep. So Edril's got to ult earlier. Playing around with timings. That's all right. Also, I don't have to make this team work. Um, let's get Cetrum down. Nix. Time I'll get some extra rage. Oh, I didn't get the attack in the middle time. So instead of placing Hollow that time, I needed to place Laurel to get the extra rage. That's okay. We're figuring this out. I could just throw a tank in and make it really easy, but uh, I'm kind of stubborn. It's kind of a an example of using what you got, right? Imagining that I didn't have different champs to use. A lot of times when you're clearing something for the first time, you don't have other options. So this is more of an example of tweaking little things, right? Trying to identify where you lost, why you lost, what little thing you can fix 
in order to make it work next time. Something we can do this time. Instead of making Nyx take the hit, we wait for the boss to attack. And then we can pull Laurel, that way no one gets hit. So since we did that, Nyx can till still take a single hit. So I'll actually put Alora down. Let's slow it down. I'm going to miss something. That way she can start building towards her ult and taking damage on the right side. There we go. Now here, we want more rage. For the boss. Now, Cetrum's at 80. I'm going to try this with Edril first. Since Edril still has half of her ult, I'm just going to try and use it. We're testing, remember? Oh, nope. Okay. That did not work. What I'm going to do. <clears throat> The easiest way to do this, okay, if you don't have, um, so the easiest way right now, if you can't take care of all of those suicide bugs before before they start attacking, right, when the boss comes down, they start triggering, the further the, the battle goes on, the more of them there is, I'll take Hollow out, that way I can still get the, the global raid regen from Elowen. And I'm just going to grab a tank. And it can be, Olag works great. I'm going to use Brook here because he's stronger. Because why not use a stronger one? But uh, let's do that. So same thing. We'll kind of walk through it. I'll explain the difference now. Hedral. Dolores. Get me up here so we can do ults. Speed it up so that we can do ults faster. Alt, alt. We still want Cetrum. Wait for the boss to attack. Left side. Alt. Remember, we need. Edril's ult up quicker so that she can start hitting the right side. Oh, I forgot to wait to pull Laurel. That's why Nyx got hit. <clears throat> so I would have liked to place Alora there, but I, I forgot to wait to pull Laurel. Hey, Sam. Working on it right now. Okay, so I just got to figure out the timing here. Because I need, I need Brook here to go down before those Kamikaze bugs actually spawn. That way they'll target him. I'm having a tough time talking. My throat is dry. Okay. This is part of clearing stuff for the first time. Like I said already, right? Watch the run, tweak one thing. This time, I'm just going to do the whole thing in one time speed. I think that's part of the problem is I'm trying to speed it up for, for you so I don't waste your time. And I think I'm mistiming stuff because of that. So let's not do that this time.
Uh, I'll mix a little bit that mix down. It's all right. Mm, I did not have work here down quick enough. Okay. Alt, alt, Cetrum is next, 1920. Yep. Want Nix to be next. Want to wait until false tax. I need Laurel to be next because I need the extra rage. Oh, I was supposed to pull her. I keep forgetting to do stuff. Man, that's all right. We will get there. Nix is one hit. Get Brooke here down before the kamikaze bugs. Since he has an unyielding ability, I don't need to throw Elwyn down to start healing him right away. I'm going to get Alora so that she can build a little bit of rage. No, pull you. Looks like Alora is not strong enough for that right side. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Let's try, let's just try a different team. No Razak. Razak's really good for the right side. No Hatsit. Hatsit's really good. I wonder... Hmm. that we can put X there. Or maybe X for the boss, Cetrum for the right side. There's options. And Laura is not as strong as we want though. So let's... Let's try. Or I could just forget the rage strap and use Allura. 
x. So I could have a LoRa, I could use a LoRa and Ah, uh, Cotter. I don't think you need your bonus range to, for me to use you. You know who doesn't need the bonus range? You. Nyx might need the damage, though. We'll see. How is Hex built? Here. Should be good. All right, let's try that. We're going to try and change it up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to keep everything slow this time. So I'm still going to place Eedroll. Nine. What? Uh, do I need Liam instead of Cutter? Or do you not work? Okay, you get closer. Well, I'm already here. Let's see what Neutral can do by herself. That's what it is. Thought he had the range. So if you're going to use Cutter, the thing about Cutter, the reason you can use him is because of his poisons. So you can use him here, extend his range, and then, so his poisons can do a surprising amount of damage against the boss. Um, he's level one, as you can see. So let's try that. That should help do a, an, enough damage to begin for uh, to take care of this first wave. So, all right, Let's start doing some some poisons. There we go, and I'm gonna want. So I want Hex or Setchum against the boss, that's the question. I'm going to say Setchum. Testing stuff out. Hmm, nope, that wasn't enough. Okay, that's fine. We are playing around. See what Cutter can do with the poisons. No, nope, didn't have time. Need to do that first. So uh, I'm just kind of playing around, experimenting with different ideas here. Um, let's see here. 
Okay. I'm not. There we go. Let's do that. Let's get a Laura down. And then since we won't have time to get Nyx down, <clears throat> we'll do our tank. That way he can start tanking the Kamikaze mobs. Alora's on the right side. When's the boss going to attack? Sure. Okay. Pretty soon. I can't use Alora's bolt because she'll lose her invisibility if she does that. But once she does her job pull her. I'm going to see if Hex can take out the right side. See how much... Uh, oh, I should have used Nyx's ult a long time ago. That's all right. <laughs> they got Nyx. Oh, man. That's all right. We are adapting on the fly. Okay, so Hex can't take out that right side. So I'm going to see if Cetrum can do it. Testing what everyone's capable of. Since I'm not going to use Hex against the boss or the right side, I can just take him off the team completely. Wait for the boss to attack here. There we go. I could take him off the team completely and swap him with a Laurel so I can still get Rage even with this different uh, attack strategy. Pull her. Didn't have enough time for in there. Okay, so yeah. So what I can do there is I can swap Hex for Laurel, use Laurel on Edril, and that way Edril can help take out that enemy on the right side, and I don't have to wait so long for Alora. Bring Nyx back down, get you some extra damage. Go. I could also try to do it uh, with Boreas in the middle. Let's let's see here. Cut her down. Get some poisons. If I don't do it this time, what I'll do is. I will put some actually some attack speed on cutter. More poisons.
Uh, I tried to grab her to... Ugh. I hit the wrong ult. Okay. Nine. Let's see. Some takeovers, some accounts. You'll clear it in, <clears throat> you know, five minutes. Other ones you got to play around. You got to tweak, and it takes hours sometimes. Let's get tank down. Attacked, get Nyx down. There we go. Eidril helps on that right side. You gone. And then uh, this isn't going to work either. I didn't have enough time. Cedrum won't have enough time to build his ult. Let's look at Alora's build. Because she can handle that right side by herself. Gear. Okay, so she's got a soulbound arcana. Let's put her in Infernal Roar. She's at 11.5 with 300. Let's get her in Infernal Roar. Or. Let's see what we have. Do I have another good set other than what Eidrel's wearing? Crit damage. Attack. Crit rate. Three. Attack. I need crit rate. That one's maxed. And then we want, here we go, another attack bonus with attack speed and crit. There we go. That's better. All right, so now we got 14.4, a little bit less crit damage. Let's see if we can find some good annihilating might. There we go. Oh, man, this is a good, it's a good set there. What if, can one of these change for a crit damage? That's the question. X. Perfect. There we go. That's better. So now we're at 12-6. There we go. We have more attack, more crit damage, and we have Infernal War. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let's go to Cutter. Let's do attack speed and rage regen. Attack speed, rage regen. There we go. Attack speed, main. Rage regen. Cool. And then attack speed, sub with a rage regen main. There we go. And then let's just get a little extra speed. Have any that aren't? There we go. All right. Let's make sure why not. 
All right, so 671 attack speed, 108 rage regen. That's better. We'll actually attack someone. And then gear raid, gear raid three. If you have stuck around this long to figure this out with me, massive kudos. Massive, massive kudos. Let's take Cetrum out of there since I'm going to use Alora for the right side. And we'll bring Volca back. There we go. Okay. Cross rope. It's easier to reach your fitness goals when you love to work out. Ain't that the truth? Who here loves to work out? Let me know. What are your favorites? Like, what? What's your favorite style of working out? <clears throat> Since I did some regearing, man, I should have done that half an hour ago. <laughs> um, so that's kind of the problem, and that's my fault. I will completely take the blame for that. I should have placed cutter earlier for one. Um, I thought that it could just be a quick re-gearing, and I should have taken more time, paid more attention to everyone and what they had on. So you win some, you lose some. I think I was just overconfident with the the gearing and stuff after doing gear raid two, and it bit me. But here we go. This will work fine. I think. The mix on that right side. or left side, excuse me. Let's slow it down so we don't miss stuff. Gets attacked once, that's fine. I need LON. Five, six. Oral, both with Alora. It might need to gear Nyx a little better, yeah. She's just barely failing on that left side. Alora took care of the right side just fine. So that was the part that we were struggling on earlier. Now uh, teach me to go easy on gearing. That's all right. We can get Nyx down. There we go. Get those poisons off. I need Nyx for the left side. Problem with that. Yeah, they're already back. Boss attacked. Let's do. I'm going to use Laurel here. <clears throat> I'm going to highlight her to slow down the game. So I'm going to wait for the boss to attack and then pull Laurel so that no one takes that hit from the boss. And then Nyx can ult faster. Uh, this might not save me any time. A little bit. Aura on the right side. Come on, Cutter, make those poisons work. She's not even geared. She's just there to take a hit from the boss. There we go. Alora, great job. Come on, boss. Die. 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 You're so close. You're so close. Boss is down. Come on, Nyx. Edril's helping out. There we go. 20's done. All right. Wow. 
that took some playing around. I tell you what, I think we can still do 21. Um, mm, I, mm, I could gear Nyx better to do that left side. But for the middle, what do we have here? Rage regen, wisdom, no. For the middle, I need more damage on the boss. I think we're just going to have to call it with 20. I need more damage on the boss. Maybe I might be able to, maybe with Boreas, maybe. Let's try. Boreas is an animal. Um, I took his gear. Yeah, there. I, uh, he's at 11, 7. I took one of his. I swapped it with, I think. There we go. Let's do that. Right? No. Attack speed. Where did I put the? Oh, yeah, I had to have swapped someone's build. Okay, so let's swap with. Who did I give it to? Who did I give it to? Can't remember. Can't remember. That's okay. Let's just let's just build him. Let's build him. Crit damage. Okay. Good. Attack speed. Crit damage. Crit rate. Crit rate. Attack bonus. Attack bonus. Attack and crit damage, crit rate and attack speed. There we go. Attack bonus crit rate. Okay. 13.8. Maybe 350. Chip Twilight. Alright. Let's test it out. What does it hurt? We've already been doing this for an hour. We made a little. Oh, I needed to regear Nyx. That's right. Because Nyx just barely handled that left side. I need to build her up. So let's go. Piercers. Nyx. Gear. Crit rate 12, attack 12. These. So she's 12-3, crit capped, low crit. Let's go. Eternal Roar. Mm, it goes on that. Let's see. HP, attack, defense, attack. Oh, man. Can't do Infernal Roar. Let's see. Let's get attack. Let's get crit damage and crit rate. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, Cetrum. Cetrum had a decent build. Let's swap with him and see what it gives us. A little bit lower attack, a lot more crit damage. Let's start there. And then maybe what do we got? Attack, crit damage, crit damage. Let's see if we have. We'll get her some extra attack. There we go. That's better. And then we ideally we'd get a little bit more crit rate, but ooh. 97 and a half. That's probably good. Ezreal's gaze. Let's put a little bit extra AoE damage. And then let's try that. Let's try it. This is kind of funny because I'm doing something different than I did to clear 20. But that's okay. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to use Boreas in the middle. That's the idea. Twelve. Go. Ah, oh, didn't quite get that off. Okay, let's do. Let's 
first one. Alt, Alt. Let's get the tank down. <laughs> Boreas didn't want to do his AoE there. Let's actually quit. Quick little tip. <clears throat> the RNG for a stage is set. <clears throat> Excuse me. It only resets. If you completely back out and go back to the beginning uh, right here and you restart something brand new like crits and artifact procs, all of that stuff, it doesn't reset unless you completely get out of the content. So I'm going to do a video on it, uh, like a full legit one showing the examples if you're interested. Um, but since the reason I did it there was because Idril was so close to killing that last monster. It literally only needed like one more hit. That's why I backed out to restart the whole thing. To see if maybe with a little bit different RNG, she'll finish that one off. There we go. See? Told you. Um, how do I want to do this, though? Pull her. Got to get someone on that left side. And I got to get someone to heal over here. Oh, I should have waited to throw that to put her down. I might not have time now. I don't know if I'll have time to get Elwyn down. Is this her attack? Is this the boss's attack? At yeah, at 13. Okay, so I don't have time there. So Nyx is going to die. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's get them down. We know RNG is in our favor now to clear the first mob. So let's do that. but I have to put the tank down so that Boreas doesn't get hit. Okay. What if instead of the tank there, I put Elowin down first so that she can start regening raid for everyone on the board early? Let's try that. She's a little cheaper than Brakir also. Okay. Boreas on the board.
so I need the mix on the left side, but I don't know if I need more time. Twelve. Oh, that left side now. So, Laura, I need to be able to hold. Yeah, none of that is okay. Yeah, I think that's a loss for right now. I, I <clears throat> nothing was lining up there. Um, which kind of makes sense. I barely cleared 20. So if you stuck around, man, you are a patient person and hopefully you learned something as we were talking about, you know, the timings and the placements and the tweakings and stuff. Uh, really appreciate your time. Like I said, I will link to the Gear Ray 2 takeover in the pinned comments below. That was uh, much shorter, much less struggles, uh, far fewer struggles. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, I would love it. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. I will see you in the next one.